3. The Slave Owner Taking up a cowhide, striking Tom, the slave, a heavy blow across the cheek, and following up the infliction by a shower of blows. There, he said. He stopped to rest. Now will you tell me you can't do it? Yes, master, said Tom, putting up his hand to wipe the blood that trickled down his face. Slave owner, referring to the slaves. These critters ain't like white folks, you know. They gets over things. Little white girl begging her father to buy a slave for her. Papa, do buy him. It's no matter what you pay, whispered Eva softly, getting up on a package and pull, putting her arm around her father's neck. You have money enough. I know. I want him. What for? You gonna use him as a rattle box or a rocking horse or what? Acknowledge your rights and positions. The slave has none. The law regards him in every respect as devoid of rights, as a bale of merchandise. In the mid-1800s, a young woman named Harriet Beecher Stowe, who was from the North, the Slave Free States, witnessed a slave auction when visiting Kentucky. It so angered her that she ended up writing a book called Uncle Tom's Cabin to tell her fellow Northerners what kind of evils were going on in the South. The Northerners were enraged at the horrible things Southerners did to slaves. Stowe's book sold about 300,000 copies in three months. This was very important because it became known to more people that slavery in the South was very brutal. This book allows the truth about slavery to spill out. How did those quotes make you feel? The quote and the entire book made me feel mad as I write about man doing such evil things to fellow man. The characters that Stowe creates such as the kind and gentle slave Uncle Tom and the mean and tortured slave owner Simon the Greek left me in awe at the true cruelty of slavery. Here are some images of slavery and many are specific scenes from Uncle Tom's Cabin. Swing low, sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home. As I read Uncle Tom's Cabin, I became more and more interested in slavery. I was able to take a trip to Savannah, Georgia, where slavery was very prominent in the 1800s. On a tour titled For Princes of Savannah, I learned that the biggest business of the city was the selling of slaves. We saw the old courthouse on Wright Square where slaves were sold once a month, and we walked where slaves would have lived and worked. I found it to be very sad to stand in the same places where slaves were auctioned off like property. After Savannah, Georgia, I continued north to Charleston, South Carolina. There, I later interviewed an authentic historian named Rob. The following video will tell you how slavery was on a plantation in Charleston, called Middleton Place. This source was very useful because it provides me with another resource and it shows me how evil slavery was in the South. What were the slave conditions that they worked and lived in? Uh, very hard. Very hard in South Carolina. Uh, they had to work 10 to 12 hours a day, and sometimes even longer if it was a harvest season. You know, they worked in the rice fields here in South Carolina, uh, standing in the water up to their knees uh, and mud, and they had to deal with alligators, poisonous snakes, the hot sun, and worst of all, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes had malaria, and it made them very sick. So they had to deal this and uh, work in the fields 10 hours a day. So it was very hot, the sun glared, uh, coming down in high humidity. So it was, uh, 
they would get done with their work and then come back to their houses. Their houses were very simple too. They didn't have the luxury of having uh, fireplace, a lot of uh, bedrooms and everything. This is their simple house here that they have. One or two rooms in the house. And you can see in here, they had all their family had to live in this place, eat in here, and rest in here. Many of them just slept on the floor. You know, you had to cook in here, you had your dinners in here, and slept in here. So it was a very hard time for a slave. They had no freedom. They were always being told what they had to do. So being a slave was very, very hard uh, in anywhere, whether it was in Virginia, Florida, or Texas, or South Carolina. Slaves had a very hard life. Seeing what poor conditions the slaves lived in made me realize even more the importance the stand that Harriet Beecher Stowe took against slavery. Her book helped Northerners imagine all the things I was now seeing as well. After learning the significance of Stowe's life, I had an urge to visit her winter home. Lucky for me, it was close by here in Jacksonville, Florida, just 20 minutes from my house, right off the St. John's River. The stand she took continued throughout her entire life as she would help educate African Americans and establish a school which is today a church on Mandarin Road. Stowe's book caused even more separation between the North and the South and may have contributed to the start of the Civil War. So much so that she got to meet the President, Abraham Lincoln, who said to her, so you are the little woman who wrote the book that started this great war.